What is going on guys? We are back with another video today in our Titans Online User Franchise. It is week 7 and we have lost 2 of the last like 3 games. Not having as great of a start as we're used to having. So if you want to see us have a better better start, like and sub. D do that. Yeah. I, my voice sounds weird because I kind of just woke up and I needed to get a video recorded. So uh, of course 90 overall to their 89 overall. This is... That's potentially a decent matchup. We're playing in the Superdome. Those lights better stay on, or I swear, to be fair, I actually kind of like nighttime games. You know what? Just turn them off. Who cares? Just Everyone just play in the dark. Everyone have their NFL-regulated flashlights ready with them. We're good to go, you know? That would actually be kind of cool, would it not? Like a super dark game, and everybody has a flashlight, and you have to actually to be... I was about to say, to be fair, you'd be always scoring. Almost like Webster maybe can do on the opening kickoff all the way down to the 15. Okay, that, that turned out pretty well, I would like to say. Mariota stepping, standing in the pocket all day to go. All day to throw. Throws to a wide open Jonu who decides, you know what? This isn't the NFL. This isn't football. This is volleyball. Here you go. Right to Lattimore who walks in. If I was Mariota, I wouldn't throw to him ever again. <laughs> to the outside, Tylen Walls gets about, what, 18 yards after the God knows whatever just happened to us play. Uh, very unlucky. Looking for someone open. Can't really find anyone open, so we're going to throw it away. Almost a grounding call, which would be quite the icing on the cake. That, that's the saying, right? Looking for someone open. Probably did have someone open instead. Mariota's going to take a sack. How? How is the momentum not carry him out of bounds? And he fumbles. Like, how does... I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. So far, the game... I mean, talk about... You know, you want to complain to EA. This is the, the prime opportunity. I'm not going to do it, even though I just mentioned it. <laughs> don't you love when people are like, I'm not going to call him a piece of she, but... You know, I'm just saying. It's, it's like, mate, you, you kind of did, you know? You kind of said what you said. <laughs> you, you did blame EA. And here on his second and eight, we do get a sack from Harold Landry. We need the defense to step up because things are happening in offense. I don't even know what to tell you that about it. Yikes. The wheel route on Kennedy, who's not the fastest player in the world, still developing. Very brutal. We're down 14-0. This has been the unluckiest game we've played probably in the league. So we, we really need to improve something here today. Mariota rolling out to the left. Oof, barely gets past. Who is that? Davenport for a gain of 20 yards. There we go. Maybe we just need to, I don't know, not uh, contact them at all. Mariota stepping tough in the pocket. Maybe even had a chance to run. But, yeah, definitely the better choice is Batson takes it about 20-some yards himself. First and ten now, Ronald Jones finding some room, gets caught up, but hey, that's a gain of seven. You know, we're moving the ball. Let's just not turn the ball over. Oh, quick throw for the touchdown. He had the free rush and everything. Mariota standing tough yet again. Knows he's going to get hit. Just throws it right in there to Johnny perfectly. Kamara with a gain of five. Looks like he might run again. He will not play action. Look, perfectly locked down into triple. Hooker, you got to catch that. <laughs> I mean, the things that have gone wrong for us, that is a very fair deflection pick that should have happened. And here, I will say Hooker does kind of make up for it with a huge hit, forcing a punt now. Fourth and five, Webster going to take this to the just about 30, but instead the 29, a.k.a. his number. He did that on purpose, 100%. I thought that jukebox was going to work, but it didn't. First and 10 from the 43-yard line. Ronald stepping into a lot of traffic, but still gains about four. The run game is so broken. It really is. I mean, you just don't lose yards often. Third and one now after another run that goes for five. Looking for someone open to that out route. Mariota going to run. The fact that Rankins catches him in that situation, come on. Get rid of escape artists and make running uh, quarterbacks realistic here. And oh my lord. Oh my lord. Mariota, do we know how to make good QBs or what? Because holy crap, Mariota is a legend. I mean, it's not even just simply doing well and making them a good overall. We just choose good pieces. Do we not? Like, Jacoby in the past? Like, you can have good QBs that still suck. We've seen that. We've seen that. 
Mariota isn't one of them. He just isn't. You know, we made Connor Cook good. We made Jacoby Brissett good. We made this fella good. We made that. I mean, we just have a knack for making players who ruin their career in real life decent in the game. <laughs> it's not really <laughs> kind of harsh to say, but Duckworth with the first down there. 26-yard line. We obviously climb back into this one. Uh, ooh, that was a brew. That would have been a kill shot. Uh, we climb back into this one, but he still has a chance to regain the lead. Kamara outside. Not going to find much. Just about a yard, kind of. Second and 10 now. Another run in. I mean, so far, not doing super well in the ground game, considering how easy it is to run. You know, to even make a stop at all is pretty hard the way it is. And there, really good find to Pinkney, uh, who might have been the first tight end in our league to actually proper dev up to superstar if I'm not mistaken weird fact but just throwing that out there just throwing that out there he also has Belange who we traded for what a fifth round pick I believe if I'm not mistaken I don't even remember Marietta with his bazooka not gonna get a chance to use it because he gets sacked third and ten now down by seven before half perfect throw inside Tylen Wallace the man that's he's developed pretty damn well to the 43 yard line Marietta stepping back has the ball, looking for that out route, and sometimes, you know, my uh, my optimism is is for the worst because <laughs> that probably wasn't a good throw. Probably, probably something we should not have done. Looking for someone open, not really going to find it. We're just going to take a shot deep, second and ten. Pretty safe throw. I mean, obviously, he had a chance at picking it, but he didn't. Okay, there's the point. He didn't do it. Uh, to the outside, once again, not really open. And that is a little harsh, but it is technically his fault. I've started to learn that sometimes PIs can actually be your fault. <laughs> this just in. But yeah, if you uh, if you press that swap button way before the ball's there, sometimes that'll happen. And yikes on that juke move decision. Could have just ran out, ran him. But oh well, third and one to the outside. Janu's got some room. Maybe should have went to the slant from the left. Probably would have had a touchdown. But either way, first down was gained. Two-minute warning. Down by seven, looking for someone open over the middle. Corey Davis going to get a decent bit. Uh, probably had uh, Batson or whoever that was over the middle a little bit more. But, you know, we're gaining yards. Here goes Webster actually getting stopped dead. So, really good stop there. But third and three, have a chance. Come out, come out. Really good decision by him to uh, QB contain. But we have just enough time to get the ball to Batson. And uh, first and goal from the ten. Gonna run as soon as he doesn't have that QB contain. Oh my lord. I'm, I wasn't aiming for, you know, attacking the QB contain area, but, you know, it, it just kind of happened. And here, Mariota just gonna have to roll out and throw it away. Three yard line. It's third and goal now from the 16 second mark. Perfect, perfect drive, but can we capitalize with a touchdown? Running to the left, and no, we cannot. Was that anal zone? I swear if that's anal zone. Uh, 17 to 21 out of half. Considering where we started. No, well, maybe. We, just, we got Jackson. Okay, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, considering where we started, 14 to 0. Super unlucky. Not the worst scenario, right? Who has the ball? Is it us? It's probably him, right? It is him. Damn it. Of course it's him. Uh, and here, I don't know what the hell we're doing here. I, I don't know. But hey, here's, here's the ball. <laughs> it, it did go to the fullback, though. He's only going to start at the 36 yard line. But yeah, uh, I don't know what the hell we decided to do there. It's. Uh, it's a question to this day that I cannot answer. Here, a little bump. I mean, we kind of cheated on accident. We still got possession caught, whatever the hell it was, aggressive. So he caught it when he shouldn't have, okay? That's called EA. That's the EA catch. Third, uh, second and eight now to the outside. Ooh, 50-50 ball probably should have been pass interference on both players, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, over the middle, uh-oh, he's got pink knee down to about the 11 to 12 yard line so not an easy spot to score from first and 10 we're gonna run commit which is super risky i don't know why the hell we did it but hey it worked glad we risked the entire defense for that stop kind of and look at the acceleration by thompson kamara i know the ball was a little poorly thrown but still kamara all over it and Taysom hill yikes we got Taysom. damn it down 11 now over the middle everyone watching this is like he's gonna lose again He's actually going to lose again. And you know what I have to say about that without spoiling anything? You're damn right, but we're going we're gonna to try. We're going we're gonna to try to make it look good at least. Uh, halfway through the th I mean, what? I, I didn't spoil it. Oh, look at over the middle. Johnny was open. Good blitz, though. Third and 18. It's not looking good. People are starting to think, maybe he did just spoil it. 
I mean, look at that decision. I mean, there's no one really open there. He did spoil the game. Fourth and 18, a risky call here, but I feel like it's not the worst decision in the world. And that's that's good enough for me. And Tylen Wallace with a clutch catch on fourth down. That was a risky one. First and 10 for the 33-yard line. Mariota running to the left side, taking a brutal hit. We're really just asking for it at this point. Second and five, uh, Mariota stepping back, looking for someone open. And we're going to take that outlook to Johnny, who probably should have just went out of bounds as soon as he caught the ball because we're now at the 11. Webster to the left side, though, finding some room. Gets a gain of about seven. Second and two, actually an eight-yard gain. Looking for someone open, not really seeing it, and Gruger Hill is in lucky position there. Third and two now from the four. Ronald Jones is going to walk in free. Ooh, good call last second. I'm surprised he didn't see that coming. Now going for the two-point conversion to keep it a three-point lead in. Okay, we get it right as he's getting hit. Mariota is stone cold. He's a killer. And here, Duckworth rolling out to the left. We're going to try to come up with right, but we're not going to touch him because we'll go to prison. Second and six from the 32-yard line. Kamara, really good user by us with Gilbert, who is obviously just a spade demon. Third and six now for the 32. Had him open over the middle. Adoree Jackson reading the play perfectly. Jumps the ball, gets the pick. And now at the midfield point, we have a chance to take the lead. Obviously, got to be smart with the ball. These sideliners are scaring me. That might have actually been in. It's not. I we maybe should have challenged that. I don't even know. But here on second and ten, terrible decision. We're really about to blow this, aren't we? Why aren't we running the ball? Run the freaking ball, dude. Rolling out to the right, Mariota. Might have to just take that shot. We do. It's a 50-50. The ball just goes flying up. And... We're going to punt it and punt it poorly at that. Well, maybe not poorly, but it wasn't great to this 12-yard line. First and 10 to the outside. Oh, he gets all the blocks, but really good recovery by Jonathan Jones. That should have been way more yards than it was, so good job by us. First and 10, good bait out there. We were running all the way across. Kamara is going to get a free first down there. Eight minutes left, down threes, running the ball successfully, and here Gilbert. My man, always with the come here attitude, wants that contact. He's a violent man. Look at us using with Kennedy on the press. And here on second and 12, a huge strip decision. Hooker, I believe, forces that thing out. Third and 12, lots of moving parts. Looking for the stop and uh-oh, uh-oh. Great decision by him to slow down and try to get that ball, but we get him out. So with six and a half minutes left, we're down three. We got to get some points here. Johnny is going to get about three or four. We got to re you know, realize we have three timeouts, plenty of time, get something open. And speaking of open, Corey Davis open, drops it, and there's a flag. Second and 17 or third and seven. It's a tough one. He goes for the third and seven decision. Mariota looking for someone open, can't get it. Mariota's going to get sacked, so we're going to have to punt it again. The defense is with an insane uh, set of stops on both sides here. Absolutely ridiculous. First and 10 now running up the middle with Balazs who gains like six yards. This isn't looking good for us. Second and three from the 28-yard line. Up the middle is that Gilbert again. Gilbert making plays today. Third to 15 from the 17-yard line. And oh, Lord, this ball is free balling. And luckily, we continue the user. It just went into no man's land. And a good decision by him to pull off because it completely dragged everyone out. However, we're the user, so we ain't dragging anywhere. We get that pick easy money and uh, puts us in a really good spot here. Going to run the ball smartly for once in our lives. Webster, second account is a first down. It is. That's a big play in here. High snap. Webster, though, running to the outside. Webster, room and a half down to the 10, which is brutal. But with three minutes left, we're at least forcing this to overtime at the very worst. Ronald Jones fighting all the way down to the three. Just about the two minute warning. Second in three and there is no one open. Maybe a bad decision there to throw it. Two minute warning. Third and 11. Just don't throw a pick, dude. Just do not throw a pick. And what am I going to do? I'm just going to run and not throw a pick, but I might have fumbled. Mariota. Jeez. I mean, all these games, I would have expected a fumble at one of these times. These are these are some rough decisions by us, but I don't even know what to tell you. Over the middle, tied up 28-all. All of this fight for what? 
for him to just get a field goal and win the game anyways. Maybe the ball gets knocked out. We got to get a pick there. Second and 10 from the 59-yard line is... <laughs> what? 59-second mark from the edge position. Harold Landry with the sack. He's calling timeouts, which is very questionable. Not, not really sure why. Over the top and almost picked, almost picked, not picked off. Obviously here he's going to have to punt. Webster is going to get a chance to return, and Webster is going to make a lot of it count. Three timeouts remaining from the 43-yard line. It will not take much, but just do not lose the game. On a bad decision, look at that. He waited for his user, and Wallace all the way down to the 18-yard line. Three timeouts, well, two timeouts now. Webster up the middle. Not really going to get much. I believe he will call a timeout here. Second and six from the 14-yard line. Quick throw to Janu. Kind of a bad decision, though, because it gives him a chance. And here with 16 seconds left, Duckworth has that wheel again. We're trying to chase him down, but he gets out of bounds of the 28-yard line. Nine seconds with a timeout. He has to score a touchdown over the middle. Almost caught, debatable decision. Maybe he should have ran or threw it short, get a little bit closer. Now with five seconds left, Duckworth, final play of the game, and Mo Hurst is not having it. He does not want the ball in the air, and he will force the sack. One a hell of a game. I, I don't know if it was just those two turnovers, 14-0, kind of getting to him because obviously he didn't play much offense. I've noticed it for myself sometimes when we get a lot of touchdowns defensively early on or just – lack of offensive plays early on we kind of get out of the zone and you know we're like how do we even play offense you know we played so much defense what the hell do we even do and uh you know you don't get into a groove so maybe that's what happened i don't know but one hell of a fight for these tennessee titans we now move on to five and two a huge deserved fought battle for the win after those two losses out of those three games really needed this one and uh, overall, overall stat line, you know, just kind of a balanced game. Threw it to just about everyone on the damn team, both sides, really. And uh, ultimately, I'm a little surprised. Let me know at what point did you think we were either going to A, lose the game or win the game. I think there was, what was it, a, a fourth and 18, down 11, mid-third. That was that was when I was like, okay, we might, <laughs> game might be over, okay? Game might be over. That was our one uh, freebie go for it decision in the AI uh gameplay choosing did have an audible for that play so very lucky there because you can't just choose your own plays on fourth down uh, unless it's of course the fourth quarter but yeah ultimately super deserved win very good game from the opponent gg a lot of people stepping up this season this you know people thinking hey we might go for three in a row for super bowls i don't know we, <laughs> we'll be lucky to make the playoffs at this rate you never even know but anyways this is a fun one of course we got some upgrades you know in the background we'll let those play but if you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jerome PKR, check out the you know, second channel, PKR Plays. Uh, I might end up adding a new series soon. I think on the 26th, Minecraft Dungeons come out. I don't know if I really like top-down shooter games, well, whatever the hell kind of game it is, but it could be kind of fun, could be a little nostalgic, uh, and also check out the Twitch channel, Jerome PKR. So that's it for me today. Tomorrow will be a rebuild. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy Hopefully you come back for next video, but until next video... Uh